Hi, this is Pat DePoint with Code Academy. I am a Washington, D.C. based web developer. If you're teaching yourself to code, it can feel daunting and it's normal to feel a little bit confused. I would know that was me 10 years ago. So in this video, we're going to talk about what kind of time commitment we're looking at if you're trying to teach yourself to code. What are some of those milestones you can expect as you're learning and what are the real world applications of what you're trying to learn? Hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a much more realistic expectation for what you're getting yourself into and should feel a little bit more at ease. Let's get started. So to start, are we there yet? Only kidding. But learning to program is mammoth. One of the most helpful pieces of advice on how to tackle this came from my mom. The only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. Thanks, mom. Learning to program isn't too much different from any large, challenging task. There might be more bites you need to take depending on where you start, but there's no magic to it. There's no shortcut, hack, or trick. It's just one bite at a time. But let's get after it. How long will this take? I find learners tend to fall into three buckets, and the time commitment for each is different. Casual learners want to pick up skills one at a time, no rush, and might not be sure what to learn, so they're just trying new things. I'd budget a decent runway for this if you don't have anywhere you need to be. The career advancing learners who recognize that coding skills can help them do their job better. They have a place in mind where they want to start, which is helpful to narrow down how much time it will take. I don't want to give any hard and fast times, but for career advancers, a year-ish seems to be what many learners settle in on. Last, there are career changers who want to code all day every day at a pro level. These learners tend to be more driven and focused on being a programmer, so it's like a gym. The more consistently you work on your skills and the more intensity brings the best results. As a rule of thumb, I'd recommend a realistic time commitment. You would probably see between 5 to 15 hours per week, give or take. It's tough for me to put hard hours on something as complex as learning to program when everyone's situation is different. But I also know some learners just need a number to know if they're even at a place where they can do it realistically. I'd say something is better than nothing, and if you can devote more than that, all the better. If your goal is to launch a new career and you're doing this part-time, give yourself at least a year to get to a place where you're competitive in interviews. A big factor, though, in how long learning to program is going to take is what intention you start with. What I mean is, it could be a frustrating place to start with, I want to learn how to program. Why can that be frustrating? Well, that's like saying you want to run a race. Do you want to run a 5K, a half marathon, full marathon? The urgency, length, and intensity of each of these goals will necessitate a different approach, strategy, and timeline. So what's a more helpful starting question? Let's try, what type of work do I want to be doing? Then we can pick technologies that will help us accomplish that. See, one of the most overlooked yet obvious facts about programming, in my opinion, is that the, all this tech that we're trying to learn was created because someone somewhere said, this sucks, there's got to be an easier way. And if you look at it that way, technology really is just an easy way of accomplishing specific goals. So it can be a tricky way to begin your path if you're doing what's hot and popular right now. If you're just trying to learn stuff like I had without factory and what you want it to be doing, you'll feel like you'll never apply it. Worse still, you might not, and then you'll forget it having wasted that time as well. So when will you use the skills you learn on Codecademy? This is the million dollar question I get from learners and it's one of my favorites to answer. My answer though is a bit chicken or the egg, so let's explore. I always tell my learners to work on stuff they're interested in and move away from tutorials as soon as they're feeling comfortable. It's true, you do need a basic understanding of how things work, but there's no substitute for just building stuff in the real world. Programming solves problems. But if you don't know what problems you're trying to solve, then everything you're doing is technically theoretical. The only way to get practical and apply what you learn is to get practical and apply what you learn for yourself in the real world. But how do you program when you don't really know how? Well, fun fact, being a good programmer is not about how much you know, it's about how well you learn. Really good developers often don't know what the challenges or demands of their next task will be. We don't really memorize. We're really good at looking stuff up and being curious. We often joke amongst ourselves that our job is sometimes professional Googlers. In fact, that's why programmers are hired. They're hired to figure it out, not to already know it. It's true that we leverage our educations and trainings, but most of the time we're having to solve issues that are unique enough to our situations that we rely on looking stuff up and making adjustments based on our familiarity with the technology. In fact, I can't remember the last time I was fully prepared for my next task. So to answer the question, when will all this be practical? Well, as soon as you want it to be. I found there are some milestones you can look forward to during this learning process. Your first aha moment, where something clicks that you've been struggling with. The first time your code runs without any bugs or errors. 
The first time you know what's wrong and why. The first time you're not afraid of working in the terminal. You may or may not hit any of these, and that's okay either way. As an example of some other concrete milestones for web developers, they might be the first hello world or equivalent app, submitting the code in the terminal and it runs properly. Learning the basics of HTML. Locally hosting the HTML in your terminal or on the Codecademy platform. Learning some CSS and linking it in your code. Learning command line and pushing it to GitHub. Building a website from scratch from beginning to end using a framework like React, Angular, or Vue. Using an API or doing some back-end work of your own. Some real-world milestones some learners have mentioned are making a website for a friend, organizing your personal file system and desktop without ever touching your mouse, crafting an email campaign in HTML and CSS at work, updating the styling of your company's homepage, being able to use the dev tools in Chrome to inspect how a website works, and debugging your code or praising your site's performance. This is Pat with Code Academy. Thanks so much for watching. Did I answer all your questions? Do you have any others? Leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel. I love responding to learners' comments. And if you want to get started in programming, come on over to Code Academy. We'll help you get started. I promise your friends will be asking you how you did it in no time.